One of the challenges with this gingerbread house is reaching some of the unique corners that are inside of this part. So looking at this face here, we've got the upper roof and this lower roof segment, each programmed with three axis tool paths, so equal scallop tool paths. The reason we've done this is because equal scallop gave us exactly the step over we were hoping to get. This is something we could have done with a multi-axis tool path, but three axis was pretty simple because all we had to do was create a plane that was normal to these faces and then build our tool path on a very small set of drive surfaces. So if we look at this upper tool path here, we only have one drive surface and we have two avoidance surfaces, which are just kind of the perimeters. And what Equal Scallop does is it finds a way to propagate a tool path within those windows and make a really nice step over. Same thing with this lower roof here. Now the unique part about this lower roof is there's obviously an overhang that interferes with that part of the roof. So looking at this lower roof, we programmed it the same way with one drive surface and just those two avoidance. The reason why we didn't tell Mastercam to avoid anything up here is because the tool path would be seen as in an undercut and none of the undercut toolpath would exist here. Obviously, these toolpaths can't be run as is. So let's just use analyze toolpath. We are actually interfering with the chimney here. So this three axis toolpath gave us a really nice base to start from, but we need to use a little bit more logic to make this toolpath something that we could run. Same thing down here, if we analyze this toolpath, we are obviously in a full collision with that part of the roof for much of this toolpath. So the first thing we're gonna do is just go over here and say convert to five axis, select our tool, and select the toolpath we wanna to convert to five axis, so the second one. Basically, we're gonna keep everything kind of default here. I'm gonna allow some additional tilt, and in this case, we're gonna leave one millimeter of stock on the surfaces I select here. Basically, selecting all the surfaces that we don't want to interfere with. We don't want the tool to try to find its way through any of these surfaces. So now we're not going to let the tool holder come anywhere within one millimeter of any of these selected mesh bodies. And all we have to do now is click generate. So this toolpath is done generating now and we can see it looks very much like the original equal scallop toolpath but you see it kind of lifts away and that's caused by the tool tilting a little bit. So if we back plot this, we'll see now that we are remaining completely safe with respect to that edge of the roof. We create more tilt the deeper we go under that roof, but it's still completely safe. This is a really cool way to make this part. So now we're really gonna be given the surface finish of this equal scallop tool path with the tilt of a five axis tool path and we have a really safe way of making this part. So we applied that same strategy to the upper panel of the roof as well, selecting the chimney as our check surface, and that created just a few little areas of tilt to avoid that chimney. We turned both those three axis toolpaths into five axis, and it ran really well on the machine.